Well, on Tuesday, I got an email from Mr. Infantino, and he said that the concert is kind of filled with 60s music. It's Vietnam era, um, and rather evoking uh, Vietnam and the war, you know, the 60s, uh, full of psychedelic posters, which we are not going to create in the next couple of days, but we can evoke the 60s with the background. For right now, we need typography. So I just whipped this out really quick, just so I could explain something. As soon as you have something that kind of works, and I know most of you are just putting a line of text in fall concert, and then you're mixing this, you're moving this around and putting it wherever. Find a theme and go with it. Here, I just said, okay, I'm going to make this aligned right. And I made this aligned right and this as well. And design's all about relationships. If you notice, the top of this text is right on the top of this text and the top the bottom of this text falls right on the bottom of that F. So we create a relationship between this block of text and this letter form. The length of this coincides with the length of concert. So we're trying to create relationships. And here again, this is justified right, aligned right, and this is aligned right. But I look at this and I think, you know, I like this a lot, but this is just too spread out. So this font that I chose, let's switch back over, it rock grotesque. And I'm going to give you a list of some other fonts and I will add to it as I see more um, that you might consider. And this is, you know, kind of ordinary here. And I think I told you to pull this. I wasn't having any luck at all. It's click the activated font, a click the deactivate font. Uh, but down here, this condensed version, I thought, hey, that's cool. And then this extended version, I thought, yeah, that might work too. And um, so I activated those, came back. Let's go back over to Illustrator. There we go. And now I want to refine this. But just like I've told you to iterate, what I want you to do is I'm going to pull this layer out so you can see better what I'm doing. Right here, right, oh, I have caps lock on. There we go. Right here, this little plus sign, not this plus sign, this plus sign right here, right next to the trash can. I'm just going to grab this icon, drag it down onto that, hide the bottom layer. So I have a copy of this down here safe. Now I can change things, but I don't want to change this and this. I want to change this. So I went ahead and I'm going to stick with the same font, but a light version. You know, and then you say, well, that's kind of small, kind of boring. Well, let's make it larger. Remember, if you're going to grab a corner, don't stretch. Undo, Command Z. If you're going to grab a corner, you want to hold down Shift. And that way, no matter where I bring this, I'm not going to stretch it out. And let's say we go right there. I think that's probably too big, but let's say we do that. Then right here, I want to tighten up the, le the letting, the space between lines. And we just hit that downward arrow. Tighten this up. Okay. Now that starts to look a little better. Now I'm going to drag this, but I'm going to hold down shift so it goes straight down and bring it down there. And now this starts to look a little better. Is it done? No. You know, there are other fonts to choose from, other layouts to try. What else could I do? How could I make this more interesting? And what you do is you go ahead and save that, drag out a copy, and then you do your third experiment. One thing, a couple things I haven't shown you, this fall concert right here, I did adjust the tracking. See, it's minus 10. Um, take that back up to zero. I thought it was just a little too much, so I went ahead and went down to minus 10. And I didn't affect, well, yeah, that is. I took that down to minus 10. Is this as well? It is. They're all minus 10. So, boom. It's because I made copies. It inherited that setting. And, yeah, all right. What is this thing right here, you might say? This it's called a pipe or a vertical rule. It is shift and then look right beneath the delete key. There's a slash key and um, a vertical stroke. And last thing, if I hit command R, command R for rulers, 
and, and then I hit command semicolon, which shows my guides. I, dra I drag out guides. And the way you drag out guides is you just click on the ruler and drag them down. And one thing you want to do when you uh, start playing with guides is go under view and make sure snapping is off. Turn off all this snapping. There's a reason to turn this on, but when we're working and trying to refine our layout, that's no time to do it. Okay, so right here I can see, hey, this isn't really lining up like I thought it was. So I can select that and come in here and open up that spacing just a touch. There we go. So now that's fixed, and I need to go back and fix those other ones. Command semicolon hides that. Command R hides the rulers. But here we have a design. It's not great, but it's a variation on a theme, and it shouts fall concert. It says everything the client asked. I added nothing. You can't add any other words. This is what they wanted. Okay, I did put 7 p.m. and doors open at 6.30 on one line because those two lines of text make sense together. And um, how you handle this is open to interpretation, but I want you to work with changing, you know, with having different versions of this that provide a different look. You keep refining. And who knows, you may like this one more, the, you, where you started. I don't like that more. I think this one is is far better uh, than that one. I might actually say, you know, this might be a little smaller and um, might look better than stretching it out all the way out there. So there we go. There's that. There's that. And there's that. Three very different posters. And yes, I have a white background that I locked down here on layer one. It's all the way down at the bottom somewhere. And um, I want you to understand that this is a process. We have today, tomorrow, Friday. We got three full days. We got time to work this. We got time to make magic happen. Have some fun.